Okay, today we're going to go over how I make my no-roll sinkers for catfishing. Uh, this is what we're going to make today. We're going to make the threes, fours, and five ounce no-roll sinkers. Now, before we get started, just want to say, before you even try to do this, check your local laws what they allow to use in the rivers and the lakes around your house where you live because a lot of places they do not allow you to use lead this is lead uh, melted down to make these weights i know a lot of states uh, you're required to use tungsten because they don't allow you to use lead so that being said check your laws first before you even attempt to try to do this um, secondly safety is very important lead is very toxic it's dangerous uh, it'll make you sick in the long run, cause you a lot of problems. Always wear gloves when handling lead. Always do this outdoors. You don't want to breathe in the smoke from the lead. Uh, never do it indoors, no matter what. Even if you have a fan, just don't do it. Do it outside where you're not breathing the air, not breathing the lead smoke. And like I say, always use gloves. So we're going to go over uh, what I have and what I use uh, to make these. Uh, first, we're going to start with the safety equipment. Um, obviously, when I'm handling the gloves, when I'm hand, I'm, excuse me, when I'm handling the lead, I just want to use some black gloves or white gloves, whatever you have. Just any type of latex gloves will be fine uh, for when this is cold and it's not hot right now. Uh, so anytime you handle this lead, use gloves. Uh, once it gets hot, we start using the hot pot. We're going to want to obviously use some some gloves to keep the heat off our hands so we don't burn ourselves and of course most importantly safety glasses okay very important can't buy another set of eyes use your safety glasses okay so we're gonna go with what I have here uh, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a pair of snippers some sort of pair of snippers it doesn't matter they can be these they can be side cutters they can, <clears throat> they can be these it does not matter uh, whatever you have that cuts, uh, you're going to need a regular pair of pliers, any kind. You actually don't need these, I could use these also, doesn't matter. Some kind of pliers. Um, you're going to need a mold, obviously. Like I said, this is the 3, 4, and 5 ounce sinker, uh, mold, no roll sinker. You can get these in anything that you want. You can get a split shot, you can get bank sinkers, uh, the pyramid sinkers, uh, disc sinkers. Uh, whatever you want they have it out there uh, these run about $35 uh, no matter which one you get uh, and this is this is the pot I use this is a hot pot too uh, this is good enough for the amount of sinkers that I make um, if you're gonna do like production or something like that you might want to get a bigger pot but this suits me just fine um, for what I use it for and of course you're going to want a supply, a supply of lead. Now, uh, whether you buy your lead or you get it, uh, I'm fortunate enough to have pretty much an unlimited supply of used wheel weights. So I use the used wheel weights and melt them down. I get them for free. Uh, and they work great. There's not a lot of trash in them. Some of them have, you know, some have a little dirt in them and whatnot, but uh, generally speaking, they're pretty much, it's a clean lead. Um, so those are the things you're gonna need. And so some type, it doesn't have to be a muffin pan. You can use a, I don't know, a piece of steel or a, a bucket, a metal bucket or whatever. Uh, I just took a muffin pan out of my kitchen because honestly I don't remember eating a muffin in the last 20 years so I don't think my wife's going to miss this. Uh, so this is what I use. Also this is actually good for if you just want to melt the lead down and you can pour it in there and then just it'll cool and they'll, they'll pop out and you can save it for later if you want to just you know use it like kind of like ignits or something. You can kind of just uh, save them for later and we melt them down then. Uh, okay so basically what we're going to do is I'm gonna put some some of the uh, lead weights in the pot and it's gonna take this pot about uh, it usually takes about 10-15 minutes to get this pot going so I'm just gonna take these lead weights throw them in here nothing fancy I'm just gonna throw them in here like this I'm gonna 
throw them in there just like that and about oh 10 15 minutes we're going to come back they're going to be melted down i'm going to show you uh what we're going to do so I'll be right back all right so it's been about 15 minutes we got a pretty good uh pot of melted lead here um now if you're using wheel weights wheel weights have a metal clip on them right there that's what holds it to the wheel right there that is not going to melt it's made out of metal it's going to stay in the pot um so what you do what i do is i take my spoon and i'll go in there and i'll scoop them out and that's when i put them in the middle whatever you got metal bucket metal pan drop them in there now also any impurities that are in this uh, lead are going to float to the top so you just want to skim across the top take that top surface off all those impurities um, and dump them in there wheel weights are pretty clean they don't have a lot of dirt in them um, i know a lot of stuff you buy in the store uh, most of that stuff is dirt you're going to melt it down and find out you don't have a whole lot uh, so wheel weights work good um, so we got this pot nice and hot now, so we're going to take this, we're going to take our mold, and we're going to put our pins in here. Uh, it comes with these pins, see that, um, take it right here, set it in there, set this one in there, and then this one in there. Now one of these is a little different, and I'll explain that later. Alright, so put it in there. You flip it around you can push them down you can lean up a little bit it doesn't matter as long as you don't pour lead on top of these because then it makes it hard to get out of there all right so now we're ready to pour we get it closed up it's all coming through there we're gonna see if we can pour make a nice pour without messing them up now you're not going to get them right 100 percent of the time every pour is not going to be perfect if one does not come out perfect take it off take it out put it back in the pot and melt it down pour again it happens all right so we're gonna see what happens here let's see if we can do this nice slow steady pour don't stop until it comes to the top there you go that looks like it's probably pretty good another one that looks like it's pretty good another one here might have poured out a little slow we'll see what it looks like now pretty much right after you pour this you can open it up so open it up and that's what it looks like it's already popping out that was a perfect pour on that one so what would you do is just he's going to be hot i should have my other glove on i'm just going to pop them out like that i'm going to set this aside i'm going to take my gloves i like to do this when they're warm when they're hot all right here's what we got here's our four ounce all right, we're gonna take it, put our pliers on there. We're just gonna wiggle this out. Wiggle it until it comes out. You got your four ounce weight there. All you gotta do, take your cutters. Take your cutters, and we're gonna snip this end off right there. And that's it. Take this little piece. I'm gonna take my glove off just for show here, so you can see it. Take that little piece, drop it back in your pot, there you go, you got a four ounce weight right there. Do the same thing with all of these. I like to do it when they're hot because the pins come out easier. There's a three ounce. All right, just gonna wiggle it out of there. Pull right out. There's your three ounce weight. Same thing here. Snip this off. Snip that off of there. Just take that, put it back in the pot. There's your three ounce weight. Um, so it's that simple. Same thing with all of these. Now, we'll give you a little tip. Here's the five ounce. Okay. If you do do a bad pour, it doesn't come out perfect like that. Just pull the pull a little rod out, a little pin out. Take it, put it back in the pot. Um, one quick tip is um, the way the lead is going to melt faster is if you keep that pot 
um, always with some hot lead in it. Uh, if you just pour it all out until you're done making all your molds and you want to do more, you go to put lead back in there, it's going to take longer for the lead to melt. Always leave hot lead in the pot. So when I make my pour, these are big, so the lead doesn't last as long. So what I'll do is after I make a couple pours, I'll put some more lead in there just to keep the pot going, keep it nice and hot. Now, if you make a lot of these, if you do make a lot of these, like I have, these pins are probably not gonna last forever. Uh, they will not last forever, they're gonna bend, they're gonna break. So what I do, basically, this is just a piece of coat hanger. So I take, if one breaks, just take your metal coat hanger, okay, metal coat hanger, cut your piece off, and all you gotta do is just make a little loop on the end, okay? So that's all that is right there. So anyways, that's how we make them. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a few more, but uh, that's pretty much how it's done. All right, any questions? Put them in the comment section below, and I'll answer them if I can.